Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Dorado, I've been a fan of yours uh, since you took this office. Uh, and I, I, uh, even before I got into politics, I've been a student of your output. Besides killing trees, <laughs> this is, uh, uh, there's a lot of information in here. I agree with the ranking member. The, what we're about, talking about today really is not a partisan issue. This is about uh, getting a return on, on our investment, making sure the money is spent uh, where it needs to be spent. I've just got a real question, and that is, after reading through this and being a student for several years, I, I have a problem getting to the bottom line. And, and what, what's the potential? And you gave us some numbers and percentages of what's been done. You've identified what's been done, what's, what's in process, and what's open. Can you give us a little more detail about that and, and break it, if you can, by DOD and other? I, I agree with, with the ranking member that uh, there, there is no sacred cow here. Everything that everywhere we spend money has got to, to, to we've, we've got to get a return on that. Um, but speaking of the IRS on collection, I'd like to make sure that we're getting a return on what we're already spending, to your point, before we spend any more money. But the bigger question is, Help us understand what the starting point is about what the potential is as we look at this uh, opportunity. The, uh, there's definitely potential. As I mentioned, $20 billion has been saved already, and another $80 billion is in the works that Congress has already approved that will be saved over the next uh, several years. Uh, there are tens of billions of dollars more in that area. There's, there's a lot of room in defense and health care, which is where the money is. Okay. Could I, I'm we, sorry, could I interrupt you on that? Yeah, sure. So the, the 20 and the 80, is that just on discretionary or is that overall in the total budget? That's uh, overall. That's okay. overall. So it's both discretionary and mandatory? Yes, that, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, we've, we've pointed out areas, for example, in the Medicaid area. We're very concerned that the, uh, the uh, HHS is approving demonstrations in states without ensuring that it's budget neutral to the federal government. It ends up costing the federal government tens of billions of dollars, and you know, Congress has no visibility. So of uh, the $80 billion that's open, that's still out there? No, no, no. That's already solved. All right, so that's already solved. So right. we, we got about, uh, you can look at it, there are $100 billion in the bank. Okay? Right, got it. So what's left? What's the remaining potential that you've identified? Well, it's, it's tens of billions. I haven't put a final figure on it. Could but you it, do that for it, us? Just a, a, well, I don't know if we could do it. It depends on what the Congress does based upon what our recommendations are in those areas. We have a number of areas where CBOs already scored what would happen if our recommendation was implemented. Those are noted in our testimony. Right. We can add those up for you and give you those numbers and then say, well, here's the potential for the rest. Well, what I'm really interested in is what the potential is by discretionary and mandatory. Okay. And, okay. and that would be, and, and, and by priority as well. Yes. You know, the 80-20 rule, I'm, I'm sure, applies here as well, uh, that 20 percent of the potential areas will give us 80 percent of the results, but I'm not sure of that here. Um, the question is, is and, and if you can give us that potential, that would be very helpful. Yeah. I'm, I'm just informed by my team that CBO has already scored at least $25 billion that could be saved. But there's more. Well, we'd be very anxious to get that. Um, okay. The next thing, when you, when you look at um, the, who is responsible? You had, I think you mentioned 29 percent have been fully addressed. Right. Where was, who addressed that? Yeah, there was about, and we broke it out in the table in our, yeah. our testimony. Uh, it's roughly around, uh, you know, 28, 29 percent was addressed both by the executive branch and by the Congress. Uh, but uh, there, the partially addressed, the executive branch addressed them more, because to score partial in our scoring on the on the Congress, uh, the. Um, the, uh, I'm told, the executive agency, Congress addressed 26 percent of what we addressed to Congress, the executive branch 30 percent of what we addressed to them. Uh, but it, to get a partially addressed the, for the Congress, there has to be a bill introduced and actually reported out of committee as a starting point. It's just the bill being introduced, we're counting that as not, not addressed. Well, I understand the score. Mr. Chairman, I think it would be great, and, and Mr. Dodar, thank you for your testimony. I think it would be great if we could get a summary of that, even if it's bracketed by uh, estimates, educated estimates. I realize that uh, it depends on how we score it and, and what we right. do legislatively. But as a budgeting matter, uh, I'd really love to see your idea of what that potential might be. Okay. We'll do what we can. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.